at Arkansas Children's Hospital Burn Center. We see a lot of scalds with a lot of children involved. Sometimes the bath water's too hot. Here in the fall, you know, a lot of times people are starting up their heaters, so we might have like some space heater injuries. Uh, sometimes we have house fires. People are burning leaves and they end up putting gas on the fire and that accelerates it. There really is a variety of injuries that can happen all year long. Not every region or state have inpatient burn centers. And throughout my career, I think that that number has decreased. But I think it's important for every person to have the opportunity to have a burn center if they need it. We do have about two thirds of adults as our patients and about one third children. We also have a busy clinic that we also see quite a few adults as well as children in our burn clinic. Getting well from a burn injury is nothing that happens fast. So we've developed those relationships with our patients that are a little bit more long-term than other kinds of patients that are in and out of the hospital quickly. That's why I think that perseverance and compassion and tolerance are very important aspects for people to have in the care of burn patients. The patients there, they're hurting and they go through different emotions. So sometimes you have to go through the emotions with them. Some of them are so doubtful and they think that I'm not gonna never feel better and they actually do. And you have to explain to them, look, we saw this, you, you're gonna get through this, it'll be okay. And sometimes I work in the clinic so I can actually see them towards the end and I'll be like, didn't I tell you you're gonna be okay? And they be like, yeah, you did. Having a really severe injury, they are really in a tough time in their life and really you have to encourage them to be strong. That road to recovery can really be long and arduous. We have patients who might stay just a few days in the burn center and then we have some that would stay for several months. There's so many different groups that we work with here at the hospital, child life, respiratory, OT, PT, clinical nutrition. Everyone really comes together and, and works hard to make sure that the patient has a good outcome. You know, the burn center is, is unique because therapy is such a part of the team. We are involved on day one. We see patients who are very, very sick, very critically ill. Our medical team, our physicians, our nurses are very supportive of therapy and they want us in the room. For burn survivors, if you don't start therapy on day one, you're helping someone recover and survive who's not gonna have function and mobility. So we have to be in there extremely early. Burn scar contractures can start to develop in as little as one to four days. Sometimes with the kids, the challenge is getting them to understand that even though you're doing something they don't wanna do and something that's painful, it's really important. So we try to incorporate play as much as we can, but, but you know, we're in a pediatric hospital, so we play with our adults too, you know? <laughs> therapy, they'll come in in the therapy room and, and we do things that are, try to be fun, try to, try to liven up their day because, you know, looking at the walls of a hospital room, are, it's not very engaging and not very motivating. Our goal with any patient with any size burn is to get them home to independent living, back to doing everything they were doing before their burn. When they come to Arkansas Children's Burn Center, they may show up as a burn victim, but by the end of it, they're gonna be a burn survivor. And they're still the same person they were before that accident and their scars don't define them. Having the burn survivor support groups and the different camps and activities, the burn survivors can come together and relate with each other. They have this opportunity to network and grow and mentor with each other and show each other support. Going to an event and seeing those burn survivors, the ones that you took care of that were so sick and not able to take care of themselves, not able to walk, not able to lift their arms, and then they're at a, you know, as a burn survivor, you're seeing them functioning normally and laughing and maturing and as throughout their burn injury and transitioning from the burn victim to the burn survivor. And so that's the most rewarding thing. It just makes your heart smile. Being part of the 70th anniversary here at the Burn Unit, I feel pretty good because I never imagined I would be here 24 years and I've seen different changes and I just feel excited about it and I'm glad it's here. The fact that we're here 70 years later and we're still able to provide levels of care that are so much different than when I first started Burn, that you know that we're growing with what's happening nationally, we're growing with, with evidence and research and science and 
you know, the, the core of the Burn Center and who the people are that work here are the same. You know, you still have this people who want to help burn survivors return to their life. And I think just, just being involved in that and being a part of it is important. Certainly, we continue to move forward with our education, our care of the patients, so I think there's more to come, but it's, it's been a very exciting time at the Burn Center here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. When you come here to be taken care of, you will then be part of our family. We are a Burn family.